Hey guys, back with another video. I'm just here taking my flat lay photos and I thought, why not just do another how-to video on how I take my flat lay photos because I know it's fucking impossible to find a good way to do it or how to do it. I don't even know if this is right or this is the proper way. I don't even know how like the high-end brands do it. This is just my way. It seems to work pretty well. Self-taught. Um, I thought I'd just show you quickly how I do it. There's a lot of little, little tiny things you got to do as well to make it look half decent. So um, yeah, I'll just show you this how I do mine and I'm not saying this is the right way or the only way there's heaps of other better ways to do it than this but it's what gets the job done and um yeah I'll show you how now so I just did my blue one so now I'm gonna do the the lilac one this is low key my fave another color coming too so I'll be announcing that hopefully by the end of the week but um yeah I'll take the flat lay of this one and show you how I do it got my little <laughs> A little tripod thing for the lighting. Homemade little thing. Yeah, so I just lay it on the ground. Actually, it's sort of hard to film the ground and me standing up because the camera's on a tripod, but I'll do my best. Yeah, and this is just my way. You know, it gets the job hey. done. So go fly I've got a painting wrapped to my duvet. Step yeah, with a bus down dirt like blue face. With the keys from back in the day, no J car. Been a slick kid since school days. Used to get ball in Binley. Now I'm in Sydney doing up tour dates. Aussie. All day, all day, got big whoop and I stuck it in four ways. Yeah, so this is looking alright. Somehow, gotta get get above it at a good height, and this is how I do it. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is down there. Then, I usually use my camera that's filming right now, but I just for video purposes, I just use my phone for this one. Put my lighting, get real close. Light, take a couple of picks. Make sure I'm right square above it. So I can get a good bird's eye sort of view of it, the website. But um, I'll show you the finished product in a sec. Hold up. Yeah, so I actually just um, ended up taking the rest on camera and then sent them to my phone. So there's a low key little like process I'll do. Even just like quick change, square it up and that. I'll show ya. So I'll just quickly edit this and that. I use, it'll be a bit too hard to show you exactly how I edit it and all that, but I'll tell you the app. So I use Lightroom and Canva. And they come out looking pretty good. So I'll quickly edit it and um, then I'll show you on the phone finished product. So it's what it looks like at the moment. I've already done the blue one. Still not even 100% sure if I'll use these exact ones. I don't know, I might try a different, something different. But um, yeah, for now, that's the blue one. It's got a little shadow and all that. I'll quickly edit the purple one and um, show you the finished product. Yeah, so I just finished it. Um, it's a real quick one, Canva. It's where you get your shadow and all that from. But yeah, real quick. I don't know how clear it is, but it's the flat lay. It's pretty simple. Um, If that's a bit better, put the blue one, purple. There is another colour coming, but it is on that. See that other colour yet? Well, yeah, that's just how you take a flat lay photo for your website, socials, and all that. Pretty simple. As I said, it's not nowhere near the proper way to do it, but it's what gets me through. So, um, yeah. New drop coming real soon, couple of weeks, I'm hoping. Some stuff to sort out, like a studio, photographer, all that stuff. And then we're on, another drop. Got a heap of drops coming. I'm trying to drop once a month. This winter's gonna be good. I just ordered some samples yesterday. Can't wait for that. Appreciate you guys, all your support, honestly. Till next time, thanks guys, appreciate this.